Hi everyone, thanks for joining. The Open Staff Foundation events team has been working to put together our plans and the sponsorship prospectuses for our 2018 events, which includes the summit, the project team's gathering, and a new event called Open Dev, which is um, about incubating new technology spaces. So today we want to go into more detail about the Vancouver Summit Prospectus, um, an event that's happening May 21st through 24th um, in Vancouver, in Canada. Um, this was actually a venue that we went to in 2015 and was definitely a favorite among the communities that so we're very happy to be returning and expect this to be a great event. So we'll dig into a little overview of why sponsor the OpenStack Summit and then get into some of the details around the sponsorship op options this time. So first of all, why sponsor the OpenStack Summit? Um, so a couple of things for those who have not previously sponsored a summit. Um, the OpenStack Summits are global events. We have thousands of attendees from usually more than 60 countries at, at each of our summits. A lot of our attendees are users, so these are you know, cloud architects, cloud operators, and as well as executives in the IT department that are working on their cloud strategy. Um, these are folks that are making use of private cloud as well as public cloud um, and very engaged users. Um, if you're a returning sponsor, one important thing is also at each summit, um, we have 40% new attendees. So even if you've sponsored in the past, um, there's an opportunity to, to reach new attendees in the future. Um, so one of the really interesting things that's new for our summit is this, or new for our summit this year is, relates to kind of the overall strategy at the OpenStack Foundation. Um, for those of you who have been following along, um, the second half of this year at the, the Sydney Summit, we announced kind of this, this broader strategy for open source integration and the way that we're thinking about the OpenStack Foundation as the home for open infrastructure. Um, this means that we are working really hard to collaborate with other open source communities, which hopefully you've seen in the past with the open source days we've been hosting at our summit. Um, but also, the OpenStack Foundation itself is going to be hosting new software projects that are not a part of OpenStack. Um, these projects will be along the lines of container infrastructure, of edge computing, potentially CI/CD. Um, so there's a lot of activity happening on this front, um, things that we're going to be announcing over the coming months that will bring a lot of um, excitement to the summit and some new content and new activities. So again, if you're a returning sponsor, hopefully this is very exciting to you because there's going to be um, some new life and, and activity happening at the summit this next year. Um, and then finally, there's some more details around new options that we have for headline and premier sponsors specifically um, that is different from the way that we've done it in the past that we'll dig into. Um, and finally, uh, for all of you who are returning and new sponsors, um, you know, we really want to make our events fun. We don't want to be the average boring uh, industry conference. We, we want to be engaging. We want to be informative. We want to be hands-on. So um, we're really looking forward to it. So with that, I will turn it over um, to the team to dig into more details about the venue and the sponsorship options. Yeah, so start with the venue, um, going back obviously to the Vancouver Convention Center. Uh, everything will be in the West Building. That's where all the expo hall, breakouts, keynotes, um, some private meeting rooms, um, and there is a lovely picture of it. <laughs> Here's a picture of the Expo Hall back in 2015. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful room with uh, big windows looking out to the harbor. And here are the windows looking out <laughs> to the harbor. Yeah, and one important point of the Expo Hall is that um, there's actually, you know, true Expo Hall down underground in this convention center, but we deliberately chose the ballroom um, not only for the natural light, but because it's in foot traffic area. So um, we're a lot more likely to get traffic flowing in and out of the back of the hall at this location. So for the sponsorship booth, uh, we have a headline, premiere, spotlight, and exhibitor. For exhibitor, we have two prices. Um, 20, the normal package at 26000 and a startup price of 9000 for headline, we have a 25 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot booth space, um, as well as the 10 minute presentation, um, keynote presentation either on Monday or Tuesday, um, a 60 second pre-recorded no audio video to be played on monitors around the venue, and also the opportunity to provide a 100 word paragraph um, to include in our pre-summit email blast to all attendees. 
And here is an example of the headlined turnkey booth um, from our Austin Summit. For Premier, um, we have a 15 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot booth space, um, as well as the opportunity to increase your sponsor booth by five feet width, um, as well as one 40 minute breakout session with video record and a 30 second pre recorded video, no audio to be played on monitors around the venue. Here is an example of the Premier Turnkey booth. So like Lauren mentioned, um, new to this summit for headline and premier sponsors, um, they have an option to either go to the turnkey booth or decide to go to custom booth. Um, we, we will have the normal turnkey option with um, printed backdrop, the carpet, um, table and chairs, or you can choose to forego the turnkey booth and bring in your own custom backdrop walls, properties, um, and whatever. with um, with some guidelines, we will have um, more guidelines in the sponsor manual. Um, we only have a few in the prospectus right now. Yeah, and, one, and thanks, Kendall. One thing I wanted to point out with the headline premier sponsors is that um, you know we have a lot of companies in the OpenStack ecosystem who have been extremely supportive and loyal, um, sponsoring at these top levels for multiple summits. Um, and this custom booth option is really based on that feedback um, that ecosystem's been really supportive of us and we want to be supportive of them too. Um, you'll also notice for the returning sponsors that we've actually reduced the price in the headline and premier packages. And again, this is to support our sponsors who you know, want to be able to maybe add on some other creative activities or maybe support some of the new events like OpenDev that are coming up in the OpenStack ecosystem and being able to um, you know, sponsor these packages as well as take advantage of these other events is really important. So. And moving on, we have the Spotlight Sponsor Package. It's a 10 foot by 10 foot turnkey booth um, with the opportunity to increase the booth by five feet. Um, something new for this summit, we are giving all Spotlight sponsors a 20 minute um, demo theater session on the Marketplace Demo Theater stage, which will be located inside the Expo Hall. And then here's an example of our Spotlight Turnkey booth. And so the exhibitor package is a six foot table um, with two chairs and a tablecloth. Um, you are welcome to bring in your own tablecloth and pop up signs. And here is an example. Booth setup will be Sunday, May 20th. Um, the Marketplace Expo Hall grand opening will be Monday post keynotes. Um, so all sponsor booths must be fully set up prior to that grand opening. So the Marketplace Mixer will be Monday night. Um, it's a great opportunity for um, you to mingle with all, all stackers. It's a great time to show off your, your booth as well as um, provide food and beverage for the attendees that you will order directly through the Vancouver Convention Center. For add-ons, we have um, a few food and beverage add-ons, um, Coffee Breaks and the official water sponsor. For the Coffee Breaks, um, there will be a monitor next to the coffee stand inside the marketplace um, where you are able to provide um, content to share on that monitor. And for water sponsor, you will have branding on all the water drugs throughout the venue. There are also sponsored speaking opportunities um, that aren't um, chosen through the CFP. We have the Sponsored Lunch and Learn. There is a recorded option and a not recorded option. Um, maybe 40 minutes during lunchtime is a great time um, to have this session because there aren't any competing um, breakout sessions going on at that time. There's also the 20-minute demo theater presentation um, that will be given in the Marketplace demo theater that is located inside the Marketplace. Um, there's also the sponsored breakout speaking track. Uh, we have full day and half day. Full day will be six 40-minute sessions, half day is three 40-minute sessions. And then last, we also have the sponsored training space. Um, full day is available as well as half day. And this option is only available to companies who are listed in the OpenStack training marketplace. And then lastly, we have some on-site branding add-ons. Um, like I mentioned before, the booth increase um, by width of 5 feet, and then the option to add a 46-inch monitor and stand in your booth. This is a, a great opportunity for exhibitors to add on as it's not already included in the package. And then the branded summit badge lanyard and digital advertising slide, um, a 
uh, slide that will be displayed on all monitors throughout the venue. And also private meeting room, um, limited quantity, only one per sponsor. There may be a few in the West Building, but most of the sponsor rooms will be in the East Building, which is a 15 minute walk from the marketplace. And for community building sponsorship, we have the travel support program donation. Um, the Open Star Foundation supports um, many community members who may not be able to afford to send themselves to the summit. Um, we have a committee that goes through all the applications and, and chooses all of the um, participants. Um, if you feel so, we can uh, support 12 people or um, there's a smaller option to support five people um, to attend the summit. And then there's the Women of OpenStack Speed Mentoring Lunch and the Women of OpenStack Networking Lunch. So how to become a sponsor. So first you'll need to sign the master event sponsorship agreement. If you have sponsored um, a summit in the past, you have already already completed the steps, you do not need to do it again. Um, but if you have not sponsored before, you will need to sign this agreement before you can sign the, the sponsorship contract. Um, it's also good to know that you will need to know the date that you have you signed this. So if you signed this a few years ago and you can't remember, please email us and we will let you know uh, the date that it was signed. So once you have that ready to go, then you are ready to sign the sponsorship contract. Um, that will go live Thursday, December 14th at 11 a.m. Central Time, 1700 UTC, um, in recognition of ongoing support for companies that are sponsors and members of the OpenStack Foundation. Um, their contracts will be considered first um, for the initial 24 hours, um, but then all other contracts will be processed starting 24 hours later. So it's still signed even if you're not a um, member or a sponsor of the foundation, because um, you will still be high up on the, on the timestamp list. Also important, remember to check your email after you sign anything in EchoSign um, because you will have to confirm your signature um, before we receive the contract. So please make sure to complete that step so your um, contract's not lost in the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you have any past due invoices, um, if you have any past due summit invoices, you would have heard from me this week. Um, but also make sure you don't have any past due corporate, platinum, um, corporate, or, uh, gold membership dues. Um, if you are unsure if you have any, please email billing at openstack.org and we will check on that for you. So specific to headline sponsors, we have only have four, um, four available spots. So we receive more than four in the first hour, then we will have a lottery drawing that will be recorded um, to, choose, to fairly choose those four headline sponsors. Um, for the ones that are not chosen in, in the lottery, then um, we will, you'll have the opportunity to re-sign the contract and you'll be in the first premier slot, so you'll have the opportunity to be one of the first to pick your, um, your location in the marketplace. So Countdown to Vancouver. We have registration opening this afternoon. Uh, I know it says December, but we're going to be opening that a day early. Yay. And then sponsorship contract will go live December 14th at 11 a.m. Central Time, 1700 UTC. In January, we'll be publishing all the things, call for presentation, hotel blocks, travel support application, visa information, FAQ, sponsor registration codes will be distributed, um, and all that good stuff. February will be the deadline for call of presentations, and then March will be Jindal will be going live, as well as a deadline for the travel support program. April, um, early April, will have the uh, early bird discount registration and um, forum working session schedule will be published. And also, the deadline to sponsor will be April 13th, and then we'll, we'll reach May, and that's when it's on it. Make sure to stay in the know. Um, subscribe to the marketing mailing list. That's where we do all of our announcements regarding the summit, as well as other industry events um, and other marketing updates. Um, make sure to check for updates on openstack.org slash summit. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email summit at openstack.org. Thanks for your time today. Oh, yes, we do have one more addition. <laughs> um, so we've gone through the, the prospectus, but if you have any creative ideas to bring, um, including lounges that'll be in, or potential lounges for the convention center, um, we would love to hear from you, so please email someone at openstack.org with your creative ideas, and we would be very happy to work with you. So thanks so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you in Vancouver.